Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be breaking down all of the Lilygo gadgets that are capable with the Bruce firmware. I'm going to tell you my best recommendations. I'm going to explain in this video why DIY hacking gadgets are so important in the world. I'm also going to show you how easy it is to build these hacking multi-tools. The goal of this video is to get you excited about cybersecurity and tech and hands-on learning. Who knows, this might help you get your first hacking gadget in your hands so you can join this amazing community. If you're looking for a fun way to get your foot in the door when it comes to cybersecurity, this is it. Disclaimer, I do not condone any illegal activities. This video is for educational purposes only. The way this video is going to work is that I'm just going to give you the two top recommendations. Now, since we have 800 plus videos on my channel, I'm going to leave a link for each device shown in this video in the description. So let's not waste anybody's time and just get right to the point. My first recommendation is the TT Go. Now, the reason why I'm picking the TT Go is because how cheap and accessible it is. Now, if you go to LilyGo's direct website, you can get this thing for under $9. I've seen people pay more for a cup of coffee. Plus, if you go to LilyGo's website, you can use code GhostRats to save 5%. So with a starting price this cheap on any other website that kind of price gouges, so let's talk about Amazon for a minute, you can get it for either $20 to $11, depending on what time you buy it. Also, I've seen this on AliExpress for the same amount of money. This is the cheapest LilyGo option out of all the gadgets here, but most of the gadgets here are only limited to Bluetooth and Wi-Fi pen testing. So all the T displays, no matter which one you get, even if you get the really fancy one that has the LoRa capabilities built into it, you really can't take advantage of that as of right now. Now that's also the reason why I don't recommend the T pager because you really can't take advantage of those added features to the device because it's not capable with Bruce yet. Now this $9 device has its limitations, but you can still do a lot with it. I was successful in putting a custom boot screen on the device. And also I found a way to manipulate the configuration figure file to have my custom colors in it. So basically like a custom Bruce theme, but on this really cheap DIY. I even saved all this stuff for you so you can manipulate it yourself. So all you have to do is cut and paste my configure file into your device and you have what I have. So before we move on, let's look at some of the attacks that this device can do. So right now I'm going to be doing a deauthentication attack. So for people that don't know, a deauthentication attack is when someone sends disconnect messages to your Wi-Fi devices, making them lose connection to the network. Now this device can only attack 2.4 gigahertz networks, but a lot of ring doorbells and Wi-Fi cameras work off of that. This is something I've demonstrated on my channel when I attacked my ring doorbell to show how easy it was to kick it offline. Pretty scary for a $9 device. In this video, I am testing in a controlled environment environment, make sure you don't mess with anybody's networks that you don't have permission to mess with. This thing can also do evil portals pretty well. So people that don't know, an evil portal is basically a fake Wi-Fi login page. So when you connect to a network, uh, when you first connect, it's going to ask you to log into it. And uh, we're going to create a fake one and grab credentials off of it. So here is the fake page after we set it up. Now I'm just going to put in my credentials. Now I'm done putting in my super secret password and username. I'm going to hit next. And then you're going to notice that it's not working. It looks like it's bugged. But if you go to the device, you're going to see my credentials. Now I use this to show people the dangers of connecting to random Wi-Fi networks out in the wild. It's a great learning tool. The next fun one you can do is the beacon spam. Basically, you're going to be making a whole bunch of fake Wi-Fi networks to spam the area and and you can do some funny things like Rick Roll. As you see here, it's pretty funny, but keep in mind, this is considered jamming, which is highly illegal. Now the Bluetooth features are pretty fun on this device. I love the Bluetooth scan because it can get a lot of information about Bluetooth devices around me and I can actually look into what they are. Also, you get a bunch of Bluetooth spamming features. Basically, it just pretends there's a lot of devices out there trying to connect to other devices and it just spams your computer or your device. But this pretty much wraps up my favorite things you can do with that cheap $9 device. So my thought is if most of these devices can only do Wi-Fi and Bluetooth pen testing, now granted some of them have a battery on it, but if you're gonna plug it into your phone or plug it into some kind of external power source, is it really worth paying all that extra money if you're gonna be getting the same pen testing features? Also, if you accidentally break the device, it doesn't hurt as much. I and mean, you only paid $9 for this device. I mean, it's not as big of a deal and you feel a little bit more keen to messing around with the device knowing that it's a cheap DIY. So I break it, I can always get another one and try again. Now don't get me wrong, all the T-displays are pretty nice. If you have money to invest, you want to upgrade from the base level T-display, that's which is the TT Go. I recommend doing it if you can, but I'm not going to recommend it because of the fact that it does the same stuff as the base model. So for me, the cheapest option 
is one of the easiest ones to recommend to you guys because of that. So one thing good about this device is that I just made a video pretty recent on this. So I even show you how to build it, how to put my custom theme on it, and I show you where to find all the files that you need to do the customization as well as the custom boot screens. I give you a couple options in there too for this device. I have it sized just perfectly for it. And I've tested it to make sure it looks smooth and looks nice. All that stuff is in this dedicated video right here. Now let's look at the number one choice. The Lilygo T Embed CC1101 Plus. This is my number one recommendation for a Lilygo device that is compatible with the Bruce firmware. And it also takes advantage of almost every feature. We'll explain a little bit more about that later. And I know you're thinking to yourself right now, self, that looks a lot like a Flipper Zero. And you'll be correct. But I'm going to be honest with you, my Flipper Zero stays in my studio and I do not take it out with me at all. I use my CC1101 Plus TM bed the most. I use it for everything. And that's the one I dedicate a lot of my themes to because it's the most accessible for the community. Plus, it has a SD card slot. So I can put my Bruce firmware themes pretty easily on this device. Pop out the SD card, put the themes I want on it, pop it back in. And it's easy to share with the community because they can just get the theme, download it, and then upload it. And you're going to be surprised how easy it is to turn this device into a hacking multi-tool. It's not as hard as you think. You can use a web flasher to do all this. No coding, and it's very beginner friendly. So I'm going to show you how to build this right now. First thing you're going to do before you plug it into the computer, you need to hold down the center button before you plug it in. So you're going to hold down this button right here, hold it down, and then plug it in. This is going to get the device ready to receive the firmware. So now you got to get to the website. So I already have a bookmark for this, but I'm going to leave a link in the description for you. This is the Bruce Firmware Web Flasher website. Once you're on the website, you're going to click on LilyGo. You're going to click on LilyGo TMBED CC1101, and then you're going to hit Connect Device. Now, if you connected the device correctly earlier, you're going to see this in the top corner. You're going to click on it, and then hit Connect. Once you do that, you're going to see this screen. Go ahead and hit Install, hit Next. And then just hit install and believe it or not that's pretty much it so let it install it takes about two minutes and i'll get back to you and that's it you have installed a third-party firmware on this device and you're ready to go pen test but sometimes when you do this your device looks like it's dead do not panic i can't tell you how many times people have said oh my device i flashed it and it's not working so what you need to do is find this special button on the inside if your device doesn't turn on after you flash it the button that you need to press is on the opposite side of the USB C port so use that as a guide so you're looking toward the back there's a tiny little button on the inside all you got to do is press it and then the device will turn on. Now your device is ready for pen testing. Now we're going to set up the TT Go. So very similar to the TM bed. You're going to hold down the boot button and plug it in. Or you can hold down the boot button, plug it in, then tap the reset button to get it into flash mode. And you're going to go back to the Bruce firmware web flasher. You're going to click on TT Go. And then you're just going to flash the firmware just like we did earlier. Give it a couple of minutes. And when it's done, you're ready to go. All you're going to have to do is unplug it, plug it back in. And then the Bruce firmware should start booting up just like this. As you see from flashing the Bruce firmware on both devices, it's not hard at all. You plug it in, just make sure you get into the boot mode that it needs. And if you run into the problem with the TM bed, you hit that little button, reset it, and you're good to go. This device doesn't have that issue. You just plug it back in and then the Bruce is ready to go. And if you want to put the custom themes on this TT Go, I have a dedicated video showing you how to do that to get the really cool colors like you see here. And one thing you're also going to want to get with your TM bed is a SD card. So the SD card is going to allow you to have some storage on it or also open up some other capabilities. But mainly it's going to help you with those custom files and those custom boot screens and payloads. You can add a lot more with the SD card inside. Now you can send files over the web UI. So basically over Wi-Fi connection and send files that way. But it's a lot slower and sometimes not that reliable from my experience. So just popping in an SD card in and out with stuff is just so much easier. Now now, when it comes to every other gadget that's shown here, I'm not going to show it in this video because I have, again, dedicated videos in the description. You just click on it if you're curious about a certain device. I'll show you how to set it up, how to put custom stuff on it, some recommendations with the device. Everything you need are in those dedicated videos. So what I'm going to do right now is compare the Flipper Zero and the TM bed. First, the TMBED Plus is super flexible. It supports multiple frequencies out of the box. You can do Wi-Fi pen testing immediately with the TMBED Plus. No need for any extra modules like you would with a Flipper Zero. One other thing that's really nice about the TM bed is how nice the display looks. It's very colorful. It's definitely better than the Flipper Zero. It's much larger as well. So the TM bed Plus, if you flash the Bruce firmware onto it, you can capture and relay sub gigahertz signals like garage doors and remotes. 
You can scan Wi-Fi networks, run deauthentication attacks, and you can even set up rogue access points. You can scan Bluetooth low energy devices and sniff their data. There's built-in NFC and RFID. You can read and emulate tags. Plus, it supports infrared. You can capture and relay IR signals, controlling TVs and other devices. And you can also use this device as a bad USB. To sum it up, the TMBEG gives you more control, more power, and is ready with Wi-Fi pen testing right away. A quarter of the price, and it's way more accessible than a Flipper Zero. There's a lot of places in the world you can't even get a Flipper Zero. The Bruce firmware is pretty much the same on every single device, but you can only do certain things with certain devices that have the capabilities built in. That $9 gadget has all those Bluetooth and Wi-Fi capabilities built into it. But if you can afford it, I definitely recommend you upgrading to the TMBED CC110 one plus now just be careful when you're on the website because there's four different types of tm beds you have the standard tm bed you have the tm bed cc1101 then you have the cc1101 plus that's the one i recommend and the other tm bed is the si4732 that one's just for radio the world is changing fast prices are going up shipping is restricted some countries won't even allow tools that interact with networks. Access to learning is being cut off, and not everyone has a chance to get these devices. This is why DIY gadgets matter. They make cybersecurity learning possible for people who would have never had the opportunity. These tools do not make you an expert, but they give you the first step, the spark of curiosity. They help you understand the fundamentals in a hands-on way. And for a lot of us, that's the best way for us to learn. That's why these DIYs matter. They break our dependency on the single brand. They wake up companies and make them feel uncomfortable because they know the community can build their own future. Either adapt and give the people what they want or get left behind. To wrap up this video, these DIY projects are more than just gadgets and code. They represent opportunity. They represent curiosity. Every time someone picks up a cheap board and learns something new, the world shifts a little. Someone discovers their passion, Someone unlocks a future they didn't know that they had. Someone finds their place. And that is what really matters. Not the brand, not the hype, not the status. Just people learning, creating, sharing, and growing together. Thank you very much for watching this video. Let me know what you guys think about everything in the comments. Now, again, I try to structure this video so you have a lot at once, but not too much at once. That's why I have everything broken up in the videos in the description. So it's not just one giant long video breaking everything down. Also in the description is a video showing you how to build your own custom Bruce themes. I show you exactly how I make all my animated and static themes and boot sounds and boot screens. you got a little bit of everything in the description. Now there's other nice DIY projects out there too when it comes to the Bruce firmware. Anything from M5 is pretty good. Thank you Lilygo for sending me all these devices so I can do proper tests and reviews. If anybody's interested in any of these gadgets, I'll leave a link in the description. And again, don't forget to use my code. You can save 5% on your order. Now if you want to support the channel and everything I do, consider being a channel member. It really helps me do these projects and do all the research. And I never want to put anything behind a paywall. So my channel members, they get a backstage pass. This way I don't put any learning behind a paywall members also get dedicated live streams and i answered their comments first it's a small way of saying thank you for all the support they really helped me keep the channel going now i'm a proton affiliate i actually use the proton drive shared drive for all the bruce firmware themes that we talked about in this video so the link for that stuff is in my discord they have some really good black friday deals going on right now so if you want to help when it comes to your privacy and not letting corporations steal your metadata and sell it this is the best time for you to do it all the links will be in the description let me know what you think about this video in the comment section thank you all for watching and do me a favor and remember safety is an illusion